Hello beginners, this is Math Wednesday. So today you need your purple page with your little Ziploc bag with all of your little rectangles inside. And we are going to learn um, what are rectangles exactly. And we're gonna review what quadrilaterals, parallel and perpendicular mean. So let's go ahead and get this, put it aside and grab your straws as well. Okay, so here are your straws. So Miss Sarah is going to um, make something and you're going to tell me what it is. Okay, so pay very close attention to what Miss Sarah is doing and you're going to tell me what this is. What is this shape? Oh, surely I'm gonna do this like that. What is this shape? I'm gonna make it bigger. You know you can do that too with your straw if you want to. Okay, good. So what is this shape? Let's see. How many sides does it have? How many sides? Oh, wait, you might not see it completely. Let me move it up a little. How many sides does it have? How many sides? Can we count them together? Okay, one, two, three, four. So when something has four sides, what is it? Yes, it's called a quadrilateral. Can you say it with me? Quadrilateral. Quadrilateral, quadrilateral, quadrilateral. Oh, that's a big word, right? Okay, so that's a quadrilateral because it has four sides. Quatre in French, quadri. Quadri is like quatre, which means four, right? So quadrilateral. Very good. So. This is a quadrilateral. Now, what about this? What is this? What is this? Is this a horizontal? Is it um, a parallel or a perpendicular line? Very good. It's perpendicular. You see your angle is a, we call that a right angle right? Very good, because it's straight and this is straight. All right, very good. Like this would not be, like if you look at that angle right here, that's not a right angle. You see, it has to be like this, very straight like a cross. All right, very good. So that's perpendicular. And what is parallel? Can you do parallel real fast with your straw? And then I'm going to show you and we see if it's, if we did the same thing. Ah, right, you did it? Good. This is parallel. Is this what you did? Very good. Parallel is the same distance over here and over here. They can never touch, right? If they keep on going, they would never touch because they're beside each other, right? One above, one below. Very good. That's parallel. Excellent. So now I'm going to go back to my quadrilateral. So I'm going to make it again. And you can make it with me if you want to. So we're gonna make a quadrilateral right here. Quadrilateral. And I'm gonna take this little one right there and I'm gonna put it right here. So how many sides does it have? One, two, three, four. Good, so it's a quadrilateral, very good. Well, this quadrilateral is actually not a rectangle. This is not a rectangle. We're going to talk about rectangles now. Okay? So, a, a quadrilateral is a rectangle is a quadrilateral, but this quadrilateral is not a rectangle. And this is why. 
I'm gonna show you a rectangle. You can do it with me if you want to. This is a rectangle. This is a rectangle. Now, why do you think this is a rectangle? What is so special about this rectangle, you think, about this quadrilateral? Do you see, do you see any parallel line? Do you see any parallel line? I hope you can see. There we go. Do you see any parallel line? Yes, look at this line and this line. They're parallel. They're never gonna touch. They're the same distance from in between, right? They're never gonna touch. It's a big gap in between, but they're parallel. How about these two lines? Are these two lines parallel to one another? Yes, they are, aren't they? See, that's what's so special. This special quadrilateral is called a rectangle because the lines are parallel. And also, do you see any perpendicular line? Do you see any? Well, remember a perpendicular line can be like this, that can be perpendicular, or it could be like this, right? Or we can move it over here, it could be like this. That's a right angle, so that's perpendicular. Do you see a perpendicular line here? That's right, this is perpendicular. Right here is perpendicular. Well, it's kind of bent just a little bit, but yeah, there we go. This is perpendicular, right? Right here is perpendicular and right here is perpendicular. Wow, it has four corners that are perpendicular and it has two parallel over here and two parallel over here wow this is a super special quadrilateral isn't it beginners very good excellent all right so this is called a rectangle um all right so now let's look at another type of rectangle are you ready all right let me show you another type of rectangle if we did this, and then we did this, would this be a rectangle as well? Oh, wait, let me move it a little bit this way. Would that be a rectangle, beginners? Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? It's the same, it would be a rectangle, except of being like this, it's like this, right? But this is a rectangle, excellent job. Okay, so now I'm going to show you another rectangle and you're going to tell me what is so special about that one. Let me get you. Okay. All right. You ready? So I'm going to move these. I'm gonna put these trials over here. Okay, so now tell me, actually I'm gonna do it like this, so it can make more sense to you. Oh, I'm gonna put a red one right here. Okay, look very closely, okay, you're looking? All right, very good, so what is this? Is this a quadrilateral? How many sides does it have? Very good. It has one, two, three, four. So it is a quadrilateral. Is it a rectangle? Does it have two lines that are parallel? The green one. Yes. Does it have two lines that are parallel? The, the red ones? Yes. Does it have perpendicular lines? Right here, right here, right here, right here. Four, four corners, four right angles. Very good. So guess what, beginners? 
This is a special rectangle. There's something very special about it. It is a rectangle. But what is so special about this one? That's right. This is the same length as this, is the same length as this side, is the same length as this side. If I took all the sides and I put them right beside each other, guess what? They're all the same. You see, they're all the same. They're all the same size. So a, a square, this is called a square. A square is a special rectangle. A square has four sides that are exactly the same size, right? The same length. So a square is a special rectangle, but all of these are rectangle, even the square. Shh, don't tell our secret. Most people don't know that. Most people think that a square and a rectangle is two different things, but we know better, don't we? We know that a square is a rectangle. It's just a special rectangle. All right, because it has the same length of sides. The sides are the same length. Okay, grab this. Now, we're going to pattern with rectangles. This is going to be fun. So, you're going to have several rectangles. So, go ahead and get your little papers out and you're going to look at them. You're going to look at all of them. Okay. And then you're going to put, you're going to create a set of five different rectangles. So look at all your rectangles and I want you to take, I want you to find five rectangles that are different from one another. I'm going to give you a second, pause the video, go ahead and do that. So now I'm going to do mine. So this is one of them. This one is different, it's a bit shorter. Okay, so this is another one I'm gonna get. This one is also different. This one is different. This one is smaller. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Good, and that is what I want you to have. One, two, three, four, five. So put all the other ones aside and just have five of them right now, okay? Now, that's one set. Now I want you to make sets with the other ones. So go ahead and make another set until you don't have any more. So I'm gonna make my own sets of five. Okay, tienen que poner, que ponerles con Eh, cinco rectangles, okay? Que son cinco diferentes. Aquí, 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 and the little one, el pequeño. Aquí. All right. So now you have you have one set, two set, three set, four sets, right? And now what you're going to do is you are going to um, put them in many different kinds of order. So go ahead and take one and just choose to put them in an order. So you decide, you could do it like this. Put them in order like this from the biggest to the smallest. You could do that. From the biggest to the smallest. That's one way to do it, right? So you can do that if you want to, all right? Or you could do maybe this. Maybe you could do this. And make like a cake. You could do it like this. 
or maybe you could do it like like this and like this or like this how about this how about if you did this that's it that's in order too right so in order you could do it like that or you could do it like this So there's many different types of order that you could do it in, okay? You have to decide which one you want to do. You could also do this. Put it kind of in the middle. This one in the middle. It's a little bit harder. You have to hold it. And this one in the middle. And this one in the middle. And then look at what it looks like. How fun is that? Looks like little one right beside each other, but really they're just on top of each other, right? Good, so there's different types of things that you can do. I mean, you could do this too. You could do this and this. No, let me see. This and this, this and this, and then this one in the middle. So that's a... That's another way you could or you could put it in order. Look, these two like this are the same size. You see? Oh, can you see? Should you yeah, kind of Okay. There we go. Kind of the same size. So that's one way that you could do it. So there's many many ways that you can do it. You have to decide which one you like the best. So work on it. How many rectangles do you have? Total, one, two, three, four, five. Good job, you have five. I see something very special though about one of those rectangles. Do you see it? Do you see what's special about one of them? We just talked about it with the straws. That's right, do you see this one? Do you see how special this one is? Look at the sides. Are they about all the same size? Yeah, this one is a special rectangle. What is it called? That is correct. It's called a square. Good job. It is called a square. Excellent job. So now we know. So what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and play with all of your sets and make all different types of sets in front of you. And then once you have your four different sets in front of you, I want you to choose the one you like the best. And when you choose the one you like the best, I want you to glue it onto your paper the way you like it. Okay? So that's your work for today. Entonces, ellos tienen que hacer un pattern con los cuatro diferente cada uno del otro y su preferido entre los cuatro tiene que ponerle aquí con pegamento y para que yo pueda verlo, ¿ok? Entonces él puede jugar, hacer todo tipo de orden con los rectangles y después cuando escoge lo que, lo que prefiere, cuál prefiere, lo pone aquí con pegamento. 